Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello again viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Frontiers. We're here on Uranus Island, having opened up the entire island map, found all of the various portals, and now we're basically hunting for the Chaos Emeralds while tying up loose ends. And let's begin by going back along this grind rail here. If I can get onto it. Ah, come on. Let's see, I think that one goes to the next map, fill in the map challenge. So we want to go this way. Or I want to go this way, at least. Ultimately, I want to go over that way. So I think this will take me where I want to go. So there's a conversation with Sage over in this direction that I haven't been able to do yet because apparently I didn't have enough memory tokens. I ought to have enough now? Yeah, I do. Let's see what she has to say. Created by Eggman, right? Correct. My base code was compiled by him. The scope of my capabilities was vastly modified once I integrated with cyberspace, but he is my creator. <laughs> oh man, I bet he never expected his genius AI would advise him to work with me. I put forward this scenario with the highest likelihood for survival. That is all. <laughs> I wonder, do these little conversations happen in order, or would that conversation always happen on this spot? Well, anyway. There's another one over here. So, the high-speed grind rail should take me off pretty close to it. I should say the long distance one. Not really any faster than any of the others. All right. So where is she from here? Eh, right over here. Oh wow, I just noticed I'm kind of low on rings. So yeah, would this particular conversation we're about to see always happen at this point, or would it always happen after the last one we just saw? And they go in that order. I had secured Dr. Eggman in cyberspace to protect him from the impending destruction. I had hoped to keep out external variables as well. You were not meant to come here. Yeah, I figured that out. I understand now why you locked my friends in the cyber cages and fought me. I wasn't exactly going to leave the Titans alone either. It's too late for an I'm sorry from either of us. Better to focus on making things right. 
Hmm, okay, that did seem to basically follow in order. Yeah, it follow it sure feels like it follows naturally from the last conversation we just had before. Hmm. Well, I'm kind of low on rings. And it occurs to me there's an easier way to get them than just psi looping a whole bunch. Just go into the fishing hole and buy them there. I certainly have enough fishing tokens for it. I don't need to go fishing. I have 100% here. to try? I'll let you... Still no more egg memos. Hmm. Could be I have all of those. Ah, oh, just one token for a hundred rings. That should do. Would you like to try? I'll let you borrow a rug. Hey, look, it's another Kunoichi. I still feel, still kind of feeling a grudge against those guys. Darn it, I didn't block in time. Uh, darn it, I'm pushing A and it's not working. Cost me like 350 rings. Oh well. What was that? Anyway, that's good enough, I think. And what's here? Ah. Just a running platform. Why is my boost infinite right now? Hey, look, it's those guys. Darn it, don't do that. Gotta get the other one before it... Ah, come on! What the... Why is... Um... That's... weird. I'm kind of curious to see what's going to happen now. Is it just going to walk off the edge and fall into the ocean? 
sure looks like he's headed that way. <laughs> I wonder, is this a glitch, or is it doing what they actually programmed it to do once I killed all of its friends? Gonna off itself. Okay, it can't. Huh. I guess it's a glitch. That's weird. Oh, okay, that didn't work. Oh, now it's heading back? What? His friends are still dead. They haven't respawned. behavior it wanders off to the edge of the map and looks off into the sea for a bit and then well okay trying to get that line up. Ah, forget it. I wanted to try to light dash into that line of coin of uh, rings, but it wasn't letting me for some reason. Well, anyway, back to the main event. Trying to have the conversations with Sage. Where else can I find her? She's on top of this. And then she's down here. And she's right here. Hmm. Okay, let's try fast traveling here. And talk to this one. Where was she again? Hmm. Looks like she's the opposite way from where Sonic is facing. Yep, there she is. If I understood those visions correctly, the ancients came from space, right? And they were wearing things that looked like the Coco, but they didn't seem, I don't know, Alive. Do you know what the Coco really are? They originated as lucky charms for the ancients. They were never designed to contain their data, their wills. Yeah, but the Coco I've found do hold the memories of their creators. Maybe the ancients changed them. Or maybe the Coco wanted to keep their memories alive after they were gone. 
so what they became sapient they were just like masks decorations but then became sapient after the ancients disappeared like to know what this is it's a it looks like the kind of thing where I have to do some story progress to open up a gate or portal or activate a machine or something like that but I can get through just fine I can warp right in with the fast travel so why would I even need to do that I so yeah, that has me curious. I've got to go check that out. But first, I want to talk to Sage again. Come on. There we go. Oh, let's just get this done. Oh, I only have, like, one of those. Eh, fair enough. She's down there. Okay. I'm so used to using the Chaos Emeralds, it's kind of hard to accept they're from space. Yes, they were central to the Ancients' power and native to their world. They are the only things that can awaken all the functions on the island, and were taken away with the last survivors to another land. Without the Emerald's power, the island's functions eventually shut down. That is why I drew them here. I hope to use the Ancients' technology to stop the emergence of their old foe. Hmm, okay. So it's not that we came here looking for more Chaos Emeralds, it's that we, or maybe just Tails, figured out that they somehow got drawn here. And we came here to track them down. I don't know, maybe before Eggman got his hands on them again? I've been told that he has obtained and used them before. Collect more memory tokens, eh? So that means I need to talk to this one next, but I need 18 more tokens, huh? There is still another Chaos Emerald. Why is it telling me to talk to Sage rather than get this Chaos Emerald here? Or maybe I need to talk to Sage to have her open up this ruin. Wait, there's two Sages here. There's this one here. And there's this one here. But anyway, maybe I need her to open up this ruin so that I can use it to get to this Chaos Emerald. Because I'm, I remember for sure that there was a locked door in front. Hmm. Well, I can do that in a bit. First, I do want to check this out, see what's up with that. I fast traveled here once before. But I didn't bother figuring out what this gate was all about. Darn it! Ah. Seriously, what's that? What is that all about?
Do I have to hit the switch? And that puts me into the 2D segment? Yeah, okay. Oh, this is... So I have to figure out which order to do those in. Well, that's definitely not the first one. One on the left is second. So it looks like I could have opened this at any time. If I'd just come here and done it. Interesting. Oh, another pack of these guys. Huh. I wonder what happens if I just kill all but one again. Will it just walk over to the ocean, take a look, and then come back and try to kill me again? Come on. Hmm. Okay, that must have been a glitch. Maybe he somehow got outside of his combat area and that caused his weird behavioral issues. I can't imagine what else it could possibly be. conversation with Sage that I can do. I still need 16 more tokens to do this one, but I should be able to talk to this one here. What's the closest fast travel point? Hmm. Probably this this cyberspace portal here. Well, let's 
Let's see, I wonder if this will take me the direction I want to go. Take me in that direction. Oh, look, there's a caterpillar. I still say it does not look like a caterpillar. Fourteen more. Okay, so to get up there to speak to the sage that I can speak to, I have to go around the other side, I'm pretty sure. That's my way up. This is a dead end. Or not. Okay. once before, so it's not too difficult. Now, where was she? Oh, right. You can't just take control of that last titan, can you? I have made multiple attempts, but all failed. And this is the last one, right? I don't want any more surprises. I can confirm only four were constructed. Well, then let's do it to it. We're out of time. We've got to save everyone, everywhere. All right, then. Well, 
I think those are all the sage conversations. I don't see any more tokens on the map except for this one here. Hmm. But you know what? There are a few loose ends I want to tie up elsewhere before I go to the end game. And I get the feeling this is going to be the end game. This fourth titan probably isn't the final boss. I mean, I don't believe it's the big bad that we not so accidentally released from cyberspace. Where was that? Where was that chaos symbol? Is that it up there? Because it looks like it's over here. It looks like it's on the map, it looks like it's over there. But the shining beacon of light is back there. Kind of weird. But anyway, as I was saying, there's some loose ends I want to tie up before I get this Chaos Emerald and head to the final battle. And specifically, it's on previous islands. If we go back to Kronos Island... Now, I've done almost everything there, but there is one last thing. Okay, so here we are. And that one last thing... Well, I guess I could say that there are a few last things. There's also getting S rank on all these if I really decide to, which, again, not sure. There's a chat with Sage here? Huh. And I haven't done 1-4. <laughs> Jeez, there are a couple loose ends here. Okay, well, I'm going to talk with Sage, but when what I really came here to do was go to the fishing hole to see about getting the final catches. I have a feeling that this is going to be completely out of order. She's probably going to be really hostile still. show up everywhere. You know, I, I don't think we were ever properly introduced. I'm Sonic. I know who you are. Your age, your biometrics, your weaknesses. You live for speed, are short-tempered, and short-sighted. Oh, <laughs> so you're a fan. But I don't know anything about you, Miss... I will not share personal information with an enemy. Why are we enemies? <sighs> your kid... I don't really get a bad vibe off of her, though. Yep. Non-canonical, you might say. Anyway, fishing hole. Okay, I'm running a bit low on time, but... Catch completion, 78%, okay. It's kind of weird that on the first three islands, there's only one fishing hole each, but on the last island, there's two of them.
Hey, would you like to try? I'll let you. Okay. Let's see if I can get up to 100% here. Nope, already got that. Lower cost to fish, but also lower token rewards. That's fine with me. A silver acorn. That's new. Only worth one token, but that's fine. Okay, before we continue... Would you like to try? I'll let you borrow a rod. Completely sold out of all of these. And skill pieces. I mean, I don't need any more skill pieces, so yeah, that stands to reason. How many of these do I have? One of each right now. Let's go up to 30. There we go. Would you like to try? Yeah, let's I'll go let ahead. You... Now that I spent a good pile of tokens. Barracuda, that's new. This minigame seems to have good percentages. You're not just constantly grinding. Another angler fish. Or let me rephrase that. You don't have to just grind forever. You can get the stuff pretty fast. Seahorse. I'm pretty sure I had that already. I wish it said in here what the catch percentage was, but it doesn't seem to. It looks like you have to leave and check the portal from the outside. Got a more eel before, so that's not new. Goal play. Pretty sure that's not new. Medaka. I don't remember, but I think I already had that. Definitely had that. Hmm. I'm kind of running low on time for the episode. Oh, a shiny one. Probably a treasure chest with a gold card, which I definitely do not need at this point. I have so many fish tokens. And nothing expensive to buy anymore. Carp, that is not new. Alright, let's Would see. Would you here. like to try? I'll let you. It sure would be nice if they'd put the completion percentage in here somewhere. 
you know, like maybe on the screen when I'm talking to Big, the cat, or maybe here in the Fishopedia, or, you know, somewhere. Ah, uh, yeah, the Medaka. Already had that. Fair enough. I also wish there was some way of organizing this list. Like, maybe alphabetical, or by which island you caught them on, or something like that. Barracuda. A large fish with a big mouth and sharp teeth. Aggressive by nature, it has been known to attack people. Silver acorn. A silver acorn. Was the tree came from silver too? Well, I don't know. Why don't you tell me, game? So that's two new items. I really doubt that's 100% completion. Would you like to try? I'll let but you unless I'm completely along. blind, it's not telling me here. So uh, let's go back out. I'm running out of time for this episode anyway. Aha! Catch completion complete. All right then. Now, if we... Wait a second, there's an Amy conversation here? Oh, man. <laughs> What's the easiest way to get there? Uh, looks like the closest fast travel spot would be this guy. Uh, let's go have this non-canonical conversation with Amy. Where is she? Okay, this was definitely the place. Is she up there? She must be up there. How do I get there? Oh, phooey. It looks like I have to start from the fishing pole. Okay. Right then, it should be off that way. I believe. Okay, Amy, what do you have to say that I should have heard earlier? Oh, wow. I don't think we've seen any ruins quite like this on our adventures. Yeah, they're ancient, but also look kind of advanced. Wait, is retro sci-fi a thing? How were the tower and the floating giant stone built? Tails is the genius among us. Let's find him and see if he can figure things out. Right. I'm sure he'll hang on until I find him. <laughs> yeah, that was a completely non-canonical conversation at this point. Alright, there's really only one thing left on this island. Where was it? Aha, here it is. I never did 1-4. Unfortunately, I don't have time to do it in this episode, so it's going to have to wait until next time. Because, yeah, I am... completely out of recording time for now. Viewers, thank you, much, thank you very much for watching this episode of Let's Play Sonic Frontiers. In the next episode, I'll check out this 
uh, Cyberspace Challenge. And after that, I want to go back to the second island, Ares Island, and see about completing the fishing hole there. At that, After that, well, I'm still undecided. This might be the time when I want to check out the Cyberspace Challenges and get all the S-Ranks on them, if I even can, because I'm not doing a very good job of that. But anyway, I'll definitely try out this one. Go to Ares Island and finish the fishing hole there, and then we'll see. Later.